So January's come and gone. I may have signed a lot of children again. Um, we've let a few players out as well. So let's roll the intro. I'll show you what business I've done. In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome back to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. So, in January, Santi has left the club. Um, he's gone for 1.2, going up to 3.2 million. We've got a buyback clause somewhere as well on him. Um, and, yeah, they offered the money and I thought, Go on then. Then we've got a few lows. Stoida has gone out on loan. Milensi um, wants to be called back from Everton and then gone to Ajax. Diamelo has gone to Crystal Palace. Atanga to Hellas Verona. And Pialilo has gone to Juventus. Um... He's not very good. He's not going to be very good. We've got another buyback clause. And I think 30% of the next sell. But I imagine he'll just be released at the end of his contract. So, now over to the inns. First in for 18.5 to 25.5 million is Saliso James from Feyenoord. He's a one and a half star current ability, five star potential ability, 16 year old Dutch um, striker. He'll be training as an advanced forward. He's 16, so let's just wait and see with him. Um, next, for 5.75 million from Sassaulo, is Francesco Romano. He's 18, so he's a little bit older. Two-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential ability striker again. Um, he's come from Italy, so he's Italian. He's not a wonder kid or anything, but we've got him in. Thinking about it, was James classed? No, he's not classed as a wonder kid yet, but potentially could be. Um, next, Raf has come in for 10.5 to 12.25 million. His name's not actually Raf, but I changed it um, because of his real name. I will get it up on screen now, but that was his real name, so we're calling him Raf. I don't even want to say that on this channel. So two-star current ability, four-star potential ability, right back. He's 16. He's actually get very... He's looking good. Um, I'm actually going to bring him into the senior team where he'll be our backup. And next, for 45 million, Ramatal Fafana. He's three-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential ability, right back. He is the backup. Full right back. Very, very happy with him. He's agreed to come in as a squad player. Um, he's resolute. Gobble, gobble, gobble. That's probably why Raf was in the under-20s. Just pretend I didn't promote him there. Um, and anyway, oh, yeah, we've got to go through results, haven't we? Since you were last with me and that game against... Dortmund, I think it was. We went on to beat Lacha 4 0 with Urkel, Nero, Weidinger, and Lala on the score sheet. And then we faced Hells Verona and played incredibly well. 
Lala got a brace. Urkel, Vinny got a brace. Costa got four. Zhao got one in a 10-1 victory. Um, oh, I've got into the game by accident. They did they have a man sent off? No, they didn't, did they? It was another. It was the other game that was people sent off. Then we face Torino and won five two. Zhao getting a brace. Vinny getting a hat trick. Then we face Milan and one two one. Audren and Nero getting the goals. Six one against Napoli. Uh, Beaky, Vinny Brace, Arden, Costa and Bondhouse getting our goals. We then took to penalties to beat Juventus. The game ended 3 all. Auden, Beaky and Urkel getting our goals. We then faced Frizzoni and won 2 0 with Berkeley. Beaky and Costa on the score sheet. Then they had a man sent off in the second half, Malmo, in the Champions League, and we won 11 0. 11 0. Keone got a brace. Costa got four. Nero got one. Urkel got two. Arden got one. And Vinny got one. Costa got a first half hat trick. Superb play. First half an hour hat trick, in fact. Next, it was Empoli. And we won 3 2 with Zhao getting a brace and Vidinga. We then faced Barrage and won 2 0 Costa and Vinny. Roma came next and it was a 4 1 victory. Hein, Zhao brace and Lola, Lala, 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 Lala. Hey, Lala. Anyway, next we faced Genoa and won 2 1 with Alejandro and Zhao. Meaning today. We need to have a little play around. Um, Arden's going to come on. We're going to play Bond House. Uh, Min. Nero needs to come off for Beaky. I think that'll do. So we've got Gerard in goal. Min, Vidinger, Ellie and Keone at the back. Lala and Urkel in midfield with Bondhouse, Hove and Beaky behind Arden up top. Um, I'm actually going to play Lala in behind. Because I like Lala. And he scores goals when he's in behind. And he's done quite well in that role this season. So let's get going. Yeah, it. Keone's got a yellow card before the game kicked off, I think. <laughs> Beyond me, Bondhouse, Lala. Go on, Lala. Off the post. And that's gone out for a throw in. That's surely our throw in. Didn't it bounce off the back of the keeper? Mm. Interesting. Alvarez. Vidinga gets it away, luckily. But he's got a chance to put it back in again. But he runs through and forces a save from Giroud. This Torino side aren't exactly a pushover. Obviously, we qualified in the top eight for the Champions League. So I think probably after today's episode, the next one will be the Champions League games. And tie, obviously, we'll do the tie before the episode starts. My seal. Come on, boys. And Gotti. Good save by Giroud, but we don't appear to be doing much. I'm going to demand more. As Torino seem to be having most of the... Uh, attacking possession... 
Lala starting to look a little bit tired. Which is a little bit worrying. And the referee's flying cards out. So I'm going to say that was unacceptable. Uh, Keone's going to come off for Fafana. Ellie's coming off for Caruso. And Lala is coming off for Zhao. And let's go. Let's hope this wakes them up a little bit. Because I am far from happy. We are going to demand more. Oh, yes, finally, Zhao to Bondau's back to Z Bondau's Zhao. Oh, it wasn't Zhao, it was Min. What? Dived, ref, he dived. Wait and see. Here's Fafana. Plays it to Beaky. Back to Fafana. He's running down the wing. Plays it into Urkel. Urkel breaks through and probably should have passed it. That was a shot that was wayward. We're demanding more. I'm going to go attacking. Because I think they're probably going to score now. Because FM... No. Close to it, but not quite. Right, here's Min to Zhao. Back to Min. Don't quite know what he was trying to do there. Interesting. 76 minutes on the clock. Weidinger to Urkel. Urkel sprays it out to Bondhouse. Back to Hove and Van Hove just skies it. We are going to make more changes now. Hove is coming off for Nero and also Marassa is coming on. He's actually going to go in as a shadow striker and we'll drop Jow back. Come on. Demand more. But I don't think it's going to be good enough. Unless we can get a last ditch winner here. Alton getting with his fifth goal of the season. Nicholas Alton has just put us ahead with probably one of, if not the last kick of the game. Oh, we win 1-0. And this is what this team just does. It's so, so good at just grabbing the points. Urkel looks to be injured. So we'll jump forward to the next game, which is Sassuolo. As I said, we are through. So we could face Villarreal, Arsenal, Paris Saint-Germain, Ajax, Villa... Copenhagen, Napoli, Frankfurt, Genoa, Munich, uh, Sogodad, Rennes, Levinsky, Bayern Leverkusen, Lyon. I know I'm saying them wrong. It's Lyon. Galatasaray and Sporting. Sp um, yeah. Oh, another thing, we won the uh, the Super FC, EU Sports FC Super Cup Italian thing. Anyway, I'll see you when we're ready for Sassuolo. So here we are for the game against Sassuolo. We have, you know what? Zeidler in goal. Alejandro, Hein, Eli and Keone at the back. Lala and Hove in midfield with... Vinny, Zhao and Beaky behind Costa up top. 
we're going a little bit old school. I still don't feel 100% satisfied with our striker options. Um, I mean, the, the youngsters are good, but they're just not quite there yet. I think I might end up loaning some out in the summer. Um, and I do have a player coming in in the summer um, on a free. Um, so I did try and re-sign Jude Bellingham on a free, but he didn't want to come. But this guy is good and I think is one of the best strikers in the game at the moment. Um, so if he's a, probably a, going to be like a one season now, um, before he becomes too old. Um, but his value is still worth 90 million. I mean, they wanted 50 million for me to sign him now, even though he's agreed to come at the end of the season. So that just shows he's got the value there to move on. Um, so we probably will have him for a year, then move him on. Hopefully by then one of our youngsters will have just broken through to take that place. And this is something which... Oh, Zhao with a blast there. Making it 1-0. Happy, happy, happy with that. But yes, um, so with that, I mean, that's my plan is to, to hopefully within two years have a striker to take the role. Um, I think we've been really lucky with Beaky coming through. Um, we've got Vinny on the left, Beaky on the right this season. So that has freed Costa up to play up top when needed. Um, but if we're going to move on players, oh dear, Krajilvild, I think it's one all. I think Costa could be one to move on. He's been here forever. He's 31 now. Um, I mean, he can still do a job if he wants to stay. He can, but I'm not going to force him out but then I'm also not going to turn down big money for him and he wanted to go he didn't want to sign a new contract so the chances are he'll be going in the summer um, and we've agreed a price at 85 million so here he goes Costa thank you that's his 27th goal of the season and he really is firing on all cylinders at the moment. But long term, he isn't, you know, he's not going to be here. Short term, he is. So do we keep hold of the question I've got to answer? Basically, I probably won't until the summer. Oh, Vinny, that was just sleek. As anything. Let's look at this one again. Look at this. Ball played to Hove. Hove to Coyone. Back to Ellie. Ellie to Lala. Lala with a simple ball through and Vinny turns and sees half the goal open and just slots it home. How cheeky can you be? So yeah, what I may do is have Costa and this new signing um as our attackers next season and loan out all bar say one of the younger up and coming attackers that I've got oh is that a penalty no apparently it's a corner should have been a penalty here we go balls played over it's bouncing around but Sassuolo have managed to get it clear and at half time it's 3-1. So 
So, yeah, um, I think the striker role is the main role we need to concentrate on. Um, I'm happy with everywhere else. Maybe get a new like third choice keeper because I think Zeidler is good enough now to be our backup and we'll probably get rid of Dresler or loan him out um, because he needs to be a full full time keeper to improve and he's not going to be that here so we'll probably loan him out or sell him and then if once we've loaned him out his market value will will go up and hopefully he'll improve but we'll see but Zeidler I'm really happy with him at the moment we've got Vert still in our under 20s he could come in as the third choice a very young goalkeeper but we will see. It's Hove, Beaky, go on, Beaky. Lala plays it back to Hein. Alejandro, what can he do? Alejandro plays it across. Vinny, and it's just over. Oh, that was unlucky. So let's make a couple of changes. More just because we can. Um, Bond House can come on up top. Uh, Fafana can come on at the back. Oh, I've got all. Uh, Caruso can come on for Hein. We've got Kaput. Chiron for Beaky. Hamda for Vinny as well. We're making all the changes at 60 minutes. Probably stupid, but I think we've got control of the game enough to do it where um, we can push on. Ding. Alejandro. Oh. It's going to go to Zhao. He plays it back to Alejandro, who basically has a heavy touch, but Caruso picks it up, plays it out to Chiron, Fafana, the Hove. Fafana, Sharon, Lala, off the crossbar. Wowzers. Praising them, make them happy. But boys and girls, it looks like it's all over. Here we go, Sharon. Oh, poor ball by Sharon and Sassaulo come back at us. We've got one minute of time left. Come on. Just get the ball. Rakavana has scored, which is unfortunate. But boys and girls, it ends 4-2 in today's game. And let's push on. So when do we come back? We'll come back for the Champions League round of 16 but if you've enjoyed that please leave a like subscribe if you're new i've been the master manager until next time i have spoken